Welcome back. You're tuned into Closing Bell. And as we have been telling you, the good news is that the Nifty has staged a big recovery from the low point of the day. The Nifty Bank is up closer on 900 points from the day's low. And the breadth of the market as well, pretty much even Stevens. A good time to get in. Nimesh tell us what's he picking up on D Street Charter. Nimesh, what a big recovery. You know, oh, someone absolutely. woke up this morning at 7 a.m. and they threw in the towel. They'll be uh, repenting, you know, because yeah. of the kind of recovery that we're seeing. Tell Absolutely. us what Absolutely, sharp up. recovery. And again, uh, it's largely on the back of short covering. You also highlighted in the morning that there are so much of shorts in the system. That will be a question. And that's exactly played out. So there's a lot of short covering, which has happened in today's market. But again, my sense is the geopolitical risk is not, it still persists, right? So it's not over yet. Yeah. So one needs to be a little watchful on, on that particular front. Uh, from a flow perspective, there are large self flows. Again, in the large cap names, that's the overall feedback that I'm picking up. Uh, While well, there's going to be a small uh, MOC buy in some select names, but it's going to be very, very selective. Mm. But otherwise, there is, there is large sell flow. Even the Nifty Bank has recovered 900 points from the lows, but from a flow perspective, all the large private banks are saying large selling pressure. So, okay. uh, you know, again, uh, th that's, that's the worry, worrying part that while we're, covering, we're seeing a short covering rally, the cash based selling continues from the larger FIs. That's, a, that's overall feedback. I guess from a, from a technical point of view, we've been highlighting for a while now that 21,800 on the nift, on the downside is a very, very crucial support. Even today, I guess we just you know recovered from those levels. So I think that's a, that's a, that's a that's a level to watch on the downside. But uh, while uh, you know there is a bit of ease that the, the geopolitical risk is not there. But uh, I guess, barring short covering, there has not been much uh, support from the larger fires. Well, that's right. That 21,700 last month, we bounced off that. And today, as you said this morning, 21,800. So that becomes a crucial band that we'll be looking at. What about individual stocks in Nimish? There's a lot of action in the, in the individual names as well. The first stock on my list today is GMR Power and Infra. Uh, that stock today is locked at 5% upper circuit. There are large volumes as well. In fact, there are multiple block deals in today's market. I understand there is a clean out rate from a, from a, from a large FIA fund who owns close to 300 percent stake. And some large family office bought in today's market. So that's the reason why that stock got locked at 5% upper socket. The second name is TBS Motors. While, uh, you know, the, ever, uh, the entire auto pack seems to be a bit under pressure today, but uh, TBS stands out on large cell flows. Additionally, there was a city note in the morning. They've, they've, they've opened a 90 day negative catalyst watch on the stock. And I understand one of the leading long only funds is an active seller as well in TBS Motor at these levels. The third name is Samundra Madhusan. Uh, I've been highlighting this for a while now that, you know, 121, 122 is a very crucial level on the stock because that's that's when the last block happened. Today, there is an MSC buy flows as well, and all eyes will be on the Tesla tie-up, which, which potentially can come next week. So that's the reason why we've seen a sharp recovery in, in Samundra Madhusan in today's market. And the last stock is Star Cement. Within the small cement names, this one name st stood out for me largely on back of buy flows. So there, are, there is buying interest from larger affairs, so expect high delivery volumes in Star Cement today. Okay, thank you very much uh, for that animation. Interesting list as always, and even the insight into today's trade. Mitesh is back with us for a few BTST calls for the week.